Hey everyone, in today's video we're diving into one of the most exciting features in video editing, motion tracking. Whether you're creating cinematic videos, adding animated callouts, or simply want text or images to follow a moving object in your footage, motion tracking can really level up your content. And the best part, you can do all of this easily using Wondershare Filmora 14. So let's get started. First, let's understand what motion tracking actually is. Motion tracking is a technique that allows you to track the movement of an object or person in your video and then link that movement to other elements like text, images, stickers, videos, or even effects. This means those added elements will follow the movement of the tracked object, making it look dynamic and professional. Here I have a video clip with multiple people walking. Let's play it first to see how the movement looks. Perfect! We'll now apply motion tracking to follow one specific person in the video. Click to select the video clip in the timeline. Now in the top right panel, click on AI Tools and turn on motion tracking. You'll now see a box appear over your video. This is the tracking box. Adjust this box to frame the object or person you want to track. In this case, I'll position it around this person here. Once the box is correctly placed, click the Start Tracking button. Filmora will now analyze the video and track the motion. It's done tracking, and look how precisely it has followed the motion. Filmora did a great job. Let's now test this out by linking some text to the tracked movement. From the Titles tab, pick any text preset you like. For this example, I'll select this one. Drag and drop it above your video clip on the timeline. Double click on the text and type your custom message. Let's write, Motion Tracking and Filmora 14. Adjust the font, size, and position if needed. You can also move the callout closer to the object. Now, go back and select the video clip. In the Motion Tracking panel, under Link Element, choose your text or call out from the drop down menu. Let's hit play. How cool is that? The text is now following the person perfectly as they move across the screen. But wait, there's more. You can add images, logos, or stickers in the same way. Let's say you want to add a logo following another person in the same scene. We'll drag and drop the same video clip again, this time on a track above the original one. Select the upper video clip. Again, go to AI Tools Greater Than Motion Tracking. Turn it on. Adjust the tracking box to the second person and start tracking. This time, I'll use a Filmora logo, drag the logo image into the timeline above. Resize and position it to match the object. Select the upper video clip and in Link Element, choose the Filmora logo. Before playing, let's hide the second video clip so we only see the main footage. Just click on the eye icon on the clip to hide it. Amazing! The Filmora logo is smoothly following the second person now. You're not limited to text or images. You can even use mosaic effects to blur a person's face or hide sensitive information. Choose mosaic. Resize the mosaic to cover the face or object you want to hide. Let's play it and see. The mosaic follows the person's movement and keeps their identity hidden. You can even customize the blur intensity, size, and opacity. I don't want this blur effect now, so I'll undo it, but I just wanted to show you the possibilities. Once you're happy with your motion tracking edits, you can go ahead and export the final video. And that's how you use motion tracking in Wondershare Filmora 14. Whether you want to highlight a person with animated text, follow them with a logo, or blur Blur out details. Motion tracking opens up tons of creative possibilities. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss more awesome editing tips. And if you want to try it yourself, check out the link in the description to download Filmora 14 today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.